So this is the photo that, or one of the photos that I gave uh, for you to work on. This is a very complicated scene and even simplifying it has a measure of complexity. So I wanted to reacquaint you with the first step, which I did really fast last night. You can see I've painted over something else, so that's kind of showing through. But I um, was making my decisions really quickly, and so certain areas I kind of, because I was trying to figure out getting the right temperature with the right value in relation to what I had going on, I sampled some greens in there. It's important to think ahead. Think of where you're going with the first colors that you put down because obviously we're not leaving these types of colors. It's going to be brought to more to um, the, the realness of the uh, objects. So this was very, very quick and, and what I did to start out. But after I realized looking back on it, how there were certain values that weren't right. Um, I really wanted to start with more pure color, not mixed color as much, you know, to a large extent. Um, these greens were too close. There was a lot of things that I wanted to adjust, and this is how you should be thinking. When you put something down, you know, do it in a somewhat non-committal way. You may, may need a little more space than just a, a little swatch to help you see things more clearly. And I just went over them and restated a lot of colors. So I really wanted to differentiate this bush from this bush. And although there's some similarities, I've already talked about how, you know, some of the differences and in real life, those differences would be more apparent, but we kind of have to push them a little bit because of this being a photograph. In these areas here, I went with a cobalt violet with a little white in it. I, you can see a little hint of um, how dark I went with it. But I realized I'm comparing to this, this needed to be much darker. So I lightened this up a little and I darkened this using the um, purple dioxide with some uh, magenta, which was pretty close to straight out of the tube. There's not really much white there. So um, it made it really dark, but we still have color. It helps to differentiate the actual building or object itself in sunlight because we also needed to show a difference between this building and the the uh, cast shadow on this building. So there, there's a sharp difference in value between this and this. So that needed to be described. So this is why I say that you don't move out of this area until you've worked these things out and until you've got reached a point that you feel like you've really done the best you can in comparing values, comparing um, temperatures, comparing colors so that you're not using the same color twice in the same way because if, you know, just as an example, if you use this color on you know lighting up the um, bush on the house and on the house you know like both places it wouldn't make sense because this house looks different than this bush so these are the, the you know things that you have to take into consideration because there's shadow areas kind of mixed into these bushes it will appear darker in these um, sunlit areas. You have to kind of, between squinting, filter out 
the intermittent dark areas to get a you know a value range in addition to temperature and color choice for these areas and compare it to the value here. And you're just looking at the leaf, the these leafy areas. Um, it's it's a fair difference. You know, maybe this could be a little darker, but that's going to be impossible with just the yellow. So for this stage of the game, I'm going to call this done. And you'll notice that there's a lot of um, other variances, other objects. Um, I really kept it as simple as I could, uh, taking into consideration major elements of this scene. So it's for what this is, I simplified it down. I didn't get into flower colors or any of that kind of stuff at this point. That's something that can be added in a very thoughtful and composed way later. That's all for now on this, but I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, the next step that I did. And tomorrow I'm going to do a, the second notes because technically I was restating first notes. So um, second notes will come next and you'll see how this develops.